Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. An introduction Lip Off Fly video has been released. A new PMA oil cooler is now available. L3 introduces a new electronic standby instrument. I'm Brie Cross, it is September 22nd, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Jim Campbell and the staff of the Aero News Network are pleased to debut an introductory video detailing the planned production of a documentary that Bob Hoover himself asked for. Let Bob Fly is the working title for an aggressive and somewhat controversial new documentary. Some 20 years ago, Bob Hoover, one of the greatest living aviators, was grounded by two FAA inspectors based on hearsay, innuendo, and unsupported conjecture. The resulting fight cost Hoover three years of his life, untold amounts of money, and embarrassed the American aviation community to the core. After that arduous three-year fight, Bob won his battle, but we failed to fight to the finish line. Every airman and aviation professional is still subject to the unconstitutional, erratic, subjective judgment of the FAA. Because of that, and in an effort to rekindle the aviation community's support and interest in making changes for our futures, we introduced Lip Bob Fly. Bob Hoover asked Aero News Network's Jim Campbell to document his ordeal with the FAA in the 1999 book, Air of Injustice. And now Bob is asking Jim to produce a game-changing 90-minute documentary about his medical ordeal in order to spread the word of the fixes needed to his beloved aviation community. By looking at the past, we can better focus on the future, and that is what the Lip Bob Fly documentary is all about. In the coming weeks, we will provide more information about how you can become involved in this important project. Here's a report for those of you that need to keep cool. Aero Classics Heat Transfer Products has released a new line of high-efficiency series oil coolers. The new HE Series FAA PMA oil coolers are designed to be direct replacements for Stuart Warner coolers that are now under the name of Mega Coolers, most of which do not have FAA PMA. Aero's new HE Series oil coolers are approved for use on Mini Beach, Cessna, Grumman, Mooney, Robinson Helicopter, and other popular aircraft makes. Aero Classic's new HE Series oil coolers are intended to be a competitively priced option for those whose aircraft came with a Stuart Warner oil cooler. Aero's new line of HE Series oil coolers comes with full FAA PMA documentation and a two-year, 2,000-hour warranty. After the break, L3 introduces the Genesis ESI 500. Now certified, Aspen Avionic Single Band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. L3 Aviation Products announces the introduction of its next-generation Genesis ESI 500 electronic standby instrument. The standby unit is designed specifically for Class 1, 2, and 3, Part 23 aircraft, and Part 27 helicopters. It features a 3-inch display that incorporates synthetic vision, obstacles, terrain alerting, and navigation. L3's ESI 500 is compatible with existing NAV and GPS equipment. The Genesis ESI 500 features a high-resolution 24-bit color display for the presentation of altitude, attitude, airspeed, aircraft track, 
vertical speed, airspeed awareness cues, and slip skid information. An internal battery powers the unit in the event of a power panel failure. The unit can be configured to conform to aircraft performance specifications to include an airspeed awareness band highlighting B&E and VMO cues. L3 Avionics says they have been providing standby instrumentation technology for 40 years. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here is this week's Aero Calendar. Here's an event that looks to the future. The New Mexico Aviation Aerospace Career Expo will be held September 24th in the New Mexico Air National Guard hangar at Kirtland Air Force Base. The mission of the Career Expo is to educate, motivate, and provide each attendee with the latest information on what it takes to begin a career in the aviation and aerospace industry. The fun at Oshkosh doesn't stop when AirVenture closes its doors. On the evening of September 26th, the September Swing is being held at the EAA Eagle Hangar. They're featuring an all-female 19-piece jazz band with great music, delicious hors d'oeuvres, and 1940s fun. Prizes will be awarded for the best period attire and best dancers. AOPA is holding their Colorado Springs Fly-In on Saturday, September 26th. Join AOPA and your fellow pilots and aviation enthusiasts for the AOPA Fly-In at Colorado Springs Municipal Airport. It's a celebration of general aviation and features something for everyone with exhibitors, aircraft displays, seminars, and activities to interest and delight your entire family. The beautiful city of Santa Rosa, California is holding the Wings Over Wine Country Air Show on Sunday, September 27th. The air show is held at the Charles M. Schultz Sonoma County Airport and is a fundraiser for the Pacific Coast Air Museum. The producers are proud to claim it is now the premier aviation event in California's North Coast area and one of the best overall in Northern California. After these messages, Boeing to build 747 components in Macon, Georgia. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Fuselage panels for Boeing 747 jumbo jets will be built at its Macon, Georgia facility beginning in 2018. Boeing will take over the work from Triumph Aerostructures, with the Macon site providing fuselage panels to Boeing 747 final assembly line in Everett, Washington. The Predator B MQ-9 Reaper Extended Range Fleet has achieved a historic milestone with its first operational fielding by the U.S. Air Force last month. The Reaper ER provides a pronounced capability increase in both range and endurance. The Citation Jet Pilots Association has agreed to extend a free trial membership, including their Fuel Advantage program, to all Textron aviation turbine owners based in the U.S. This program provides competitive Jet A fuel pricing at partner fixed based operations around the world. A self described investigative journalist used Kickstarter to raise money for a project he said would investigate factory farms in the U.S. by using UAV surveillance. The project raised more than $90,000, but the project validity is now being questioned by another animal rights group. 
The UK Ministry of Defense has accepted the delivery of its seventh Airbus A400M new generation airlifter. The transfer of the aircraft, known as Atlas in UK service, means that the Royal Air Force now has four A400Ms in day-to-day -day service at Bryce Norton. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Superior Air Parts announced that Zenith Aircraft has selected the company's popular XP320 engine as a builder option on its Stoll CH750 and CH750 Cruiser Kit aircraft. Sebastian Hines, President Zenith Aircraft, said, quote, Everyone here at Zenith Aircraft is extremely happy to have the opportunity to collaborate with the team at Superior Air Parts to create the new XP320Z and XP320ZP engines for the CH750 aircraft family. Not only do they produce exceptional engines, Superior also gives our customers the option to go to their factory and assemble their own engine under the supervision of an experienced engine builder." End quote. Superior will offer Zenith builders two horsepower options. The XP320 for Zenith will be available as the 150 horsepower XP320Z and the 160 horsepower XP320ZP. Superior said they think that the 160 horsepower engine will be a popular choice for the Stoll CH750 Sport Utility kit built airplane. With 160 horsepower mounted to a Zenith 750 Stoll airplane, the Super Cub drivers are going to have a real run for their money. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real time 24 7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.